Hi, I'm Laura from Everyday Adventurous Images, and this is a video tutorial series on creating bespoke movement artwork with Snapseed. In the series, I'm going to share with you all of my hints, tips, and photo editing secrets. on how to turn shots like these into works of movement art like these. So, how does it work? The series comprises of eight video tutorials split into three parts. In the first part, creating your image, step-by-step -step guides will show you how to use Snapseed to stitch together your photos to create the three different types of movement images that I use most often. Burst shots, shadow shots, and echo shots. In the second part, adding style, are three guides dedicated to using the looks and editing tools within Snapseed to create your own signature styles, including a dedicated guide to creating colour splash images. In the third part, Getting Technical, are two bonus guides which will help to make your photo editing life so much easier. These guides will enable you to consistently produce high quality edits in a fraction of the time. This is tutorial 6, Colour Splash. Learn how to make your photos pop with a splash of colour. In this tutorial we'll be looking at exactly what we mean by colour splash, how to choose the colour or colours you want to pop from your image, how to turn your shot black and white, and how to use the mask tool to create your colour splash. Okay, so let's get started with what is colour splash. Colour splash, or colour pop as it is also known, is a style of editing where the image is predominantly black and white. But there is a splash of colour, for example, the bright red of a jacket, or multiple colours, Maybe a hat, glove, scarf, shoes and trousers. Anything you want really. And red. I think that colour splashes work particularly well with red. There's such a lovely contrast between the grey hues and striking red tones that make the colours really pop. So now we know what it is, what you really want to know is how to do it. There are numerous colour splash apps out there dedicated to creating colour splash shots but I find that Snapseed works just fine for my colour splash needs. So let's get into it. First things first, we're going to choose our splash. To have an idea of which colour or colours we want to use against our black and white background. We can use a single colour, like the bright yellow jacket in my burst shot, or choose multiple colours. You could colour splash the face, legs, the whole outfit into this shot, as well as the jacket. My big tip is to try to choose significant areas of colour. This makes it a lot easier to paint them in, much less fiddly. And a big splash of colour on an otherwise black and white background will really make your images stand out from the crowd. Okay, so now we have chosen our splash the first thing we want to do is turn our entire image black and white. To do this, we need to open our photo in Snapseed by tapping the app on our home screen and tapping open in the top left corner. If a message comes up asking if you're ready to open and if you've saved your previous changes, just make sure that you know that you have and then press open and tap open from device. This opens up your phone photos and you want to locate your photo from albums 
As you know, mine are saved in an album called Burst, but yours will most probably be in Recents. So tap the album, and then tap your image to open it. I'm going to use my Running Burst image. You can then tap Looks on the bottom left, and then scroll through until you find the black and white looks. And we're simply going to tap through each one and have a look which one looks best with our image. So we'll start with Fine Art. And then Push. and then structure. I think structure works really well for this photo. It gives lots of definition to the sky. So I think we'll choose that one. And then just tap the done tick when we're ready. Now our whole image is black and white we can use the mask tool to uncover just the areas of colour that we want to see in the final image. So first, we can tap the view edits icon and tap view edits. This shows us a list of all of the edits that were made to the photo when we selected structure. The edit we want to adjust is black and white, so we can tap that and then tap the mask icon which is in the centre of the three icons. The mask icon allows us to paint in the black and white effect exactly where we want it and to leave the colour in the area we want the colour splash. I find it easiest to paint the whole image black and white first. I'm using the eye icon here to show you exactly where I'm painting in, but you don't have to do this. And there we can see that's black and white. And we can then use the arrows to set the black and white percentage to zero. And paint in the colour in only the areas we wish to see it. So we can zoom right in to get as much control as we can and then start to paint back in. I'm just going to stick with the yellow of the jacket and we're going to get as close to the lines as we can, trying not to go over any of the lines because we don't want any colour outside of the jacket. Zoom into the next one. And continue in exactly the same way. Paint within the outer lines of the jacket. If we do go over the lines and we can see a swathe of colour outside of where we want it, we can just use the black and white percentage arrows, put them back up to 100, paint the black and white back in, and then go back to zero and continue to paint in the jacket. And zoom in on the last image with the last jacket. And there we go. We can simply tap the done tick when we're happy. And tap back. 
And that's our finished image ready for export. So you can tap export and choose a saving option. And that's it. Now you know how to turn shots like these into colour splash like this. And you know exactly what we mean by colour splash, how to choose the colour or colours that you wish to splash, how to turn your shot black and white, and how to use the mask tool to create your colour splash image. So, what next? Now you've completed the colour splash tutorial and all of the adding style tutorials, you're on the home straight to completing the course. Just two more to go. The getting technical videos view your edits and creating looks that will enable you to consistently produce high quality edits in a fraction of the time. Then what? Share your images on Instagram using the hashtag Movesnappers. I'd love to see your shots and I'll happily give you pointers on there too. And if you want my help creating bespoke images from your photos, just head on over to the website everydayadventurous.com forward slash images to commission me to create your very own work of movement art. Bye for now, move snappers.